This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review heard on the Crude Life Media Network. On today's episode, we talk with Mark Davies, Chief Operating Officer for Vigor USA, and he talks about frack plugs and what happens on and under the well site. In just a moment, Mark Davies, Chief Operating Officer for Vigor USA, right here on the Mondak Oilfield Review. It seems everywhere I go these days, someone is telling me about the success of Hatch Coaching. Listen to what professional speaker Mark J. Lindquist has to say. He is a person in this market and now in markets across the country with Hatch Coaching that is revolutionizing the way people approach the business. He's reinventing the way people look at the people model. That's why he brings in hundreds of people from all over the country who are trying to figure out how to do what he's doing in their market. For more information, call 701-212-1572 or visit coachingwithhatch.com. That's coachingwithhatch.com. Welcome back to the Mondak Oil Field Review, heard in the Crude Life Media Network. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, Mark Davies, Chief Operating Officer for Vigor USA, talking about frack plugs and what happens on and under the well site. Frack plugs. You mentioned the word composite several times, so that kind of answered part of my question. But explain further, there's new technology coming in to replace some of the older technology, which would be iron, um, is what I got out of that. So explain a little bit, you know, the material behind that. Yes, sir. A lot of the material, it's a composite material. Some might compare it to like a fiberglass where it can be woven. It can be a a molded or it can uh, can be a woven uh, composite material that is used to manufacture these uh, particular frack plugs. With them as well, uh, there's, there's very few companies nowadays that don't actually use any metal in the actual frack plug. A lot of companies call themselves composite frack plug companies, but there's very few that uh, are 100% metal free. And, you know, the industry's really changed from going to these uh, composite buttons and uh, moved, starting to move away from using the... Uh, the, uh, the iron inserts or the steel inserts on their uh, uh, on their frack slips. You know, on, on a typical job, we were on a job uh, last week out in West Texas where, you know, they had a catering company out there that was feeding all the crews. You had the, uh, the frack crews out there. You had the pumping crews. You had the uh, wire line. You had the, uh, you know, the oil and gas services company as well as the oil and gas uh, exploration and production crews. You know, you, you might you might have 50 or 60 people at a time out on location. So, you know, and you had everybody from the caterers up to the completions group. So you have such a wide range of people on location. And, you know, it, it's just, it, it's a long chain of people at this oil and that the oil and gas industry employs. Once again, that was Mark Davies, Chief Operating Officer for Vigor USA. To listen to the full-length interview with Davies or to follow other energy series, visit our website, thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. Check out our social media pages on Facebook and Twitter as well as YouTube. All of those social media pages are available at thecrudelife.com. Just click on the social media tab. From the staff at the Mondak Oil Field Review, my name is Jason Spies asking you to be happy, be safe, and keep it turning to the right. Oh,